guys welcome back to my channel it's me cat and today i am going to be doing swatches um of the newest palette from nomad cosmetics this is the iceland fire and ice palette and as you can tell from the name iceland is the country that they got the inspiration from uh, so I am going to go over the, um, shades, do swatches, tell you the names that come with some of the shades, and, um, I'm going to try something a little different because it is so awkward still to talk with these temporaries in. When I get to the swatches, I'll just put up um, text on the screen and show the swatches. Um, when I'm talking about the uh, background of the palette and giving the number information, I will, you know, be regular talking and then I'll do um, kind of like a half and half. I'll do talking and then also putting stuff up on the screen. And while you're here, can you please subscribe and uh, hit the uh, like and leave a comment. Um, let me know if you are going to be picking up the Nomad Cosmetic Palette. Have you heard of Nomad Cosmetics before? Let me know down in the comments. And um, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by summertime. Hopefully um, you guys can get me there. So let's go over the information of the palette. So when you look at the back of the palette, you get the color story and the palette is cruelty free, vegan, talc free, and it is a warm and cool, excuse me, a warm and cool toned eyeshadow formulated with extra fine pigments for stunning color payoff infused with cloudberry seed oil to help minimize, to help moisturize and protect the skin eight glimmering shimmers and seven majestic mats inspired by the land of fire and ice and then there is a little paragraph on the bottom and it says forged by mother earth's might the nordic island nation of iceland has jaw-dropping natural beauty and quirky cultural traditions majestic glaciers and fjords and powerful volcanoes and dancing northern lights during long winter nights create the perfect environment for the Icelandic folklore to flourish. So be on the lookout as you ever as you never know when the elves and other hidden people might pop up. So that's really cute and I like on the front you have this it kind of looks like water and ice and snow kind of all together on the front artwork i really like that and then the palette itself it has the same artwork and then on the back it's a nice matte black you have a cute little elf I like how they kind of pop up randomly. You've got one here on the back of the box. And then here in the palette, you've got a guy right there. And the palette, this is what it looks like. It is gorgeous. The stamps are so cute. And I like that if you kind of look at it, each row you can kind of use to do a look as a trio so if you kind of have a hard time pairing um bright colors together or even if you break these into quads you can get some really cool color combinations um and it's easy if you're not used to working with color it does help you kind of um 
figure out color stories um, without, you know, giving yourself a headache. And you do get a nice little mirror, and there is another little elf hiding right there. And um, you do also get two duochromes. This one with the elf has a is the is a duochrome and i believe this is a duochrome so i am going to go over the um numbers and net weight and stuff and then we'll get into the swatches oh and also i did two looks using the palette i will show you what shades i used on my eyes in a second Okay, okay, so if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes. Um, the palette is $37. Um, I used uh, Trend Moods Copier First Purchase. Um, okay, so like I said, it is $37. For 15 pans and if you broke it down per pan it would be 226 per pan and um like I said seven mats six shimmers two duochromes vegan cruelty free talc free um okay you get a gram and a half of product or 0 0.05 ounces and that breaks down to a total net weight of 22.5 grams or 0 0.75 ounces and wholesale that breaks down to a dollar fifty per gram or fifty dollars per ounce okay so let me show you the shades I used on my eye to do the look and then I will do the swatches and then I will do a separate video um, creating two looks with the palette. But And I have used um, this to create a few looks. I posted the looks on my Instagram. I'll leave it linked down below. And, um, yeah, so the shades that I have going on right now, this eye, I kind of wanted to do like a little monochromatic moment. So I took this shade Northern Lights, it's on my crease and in, on my lid. Um, I put it very lightly with my pinky finger on my lid and then on, on my brow bone I mean and then on my lid I took my finger and patted it on to get a really nice shimmery color and then in the crease I mixed um frig and nord those two colors to get that color and then on the lower lash line I took dark castle and Put that on the lower lash. I just kind of pushed it into the lower lash for a light kind of color. And then on the inner corner, I took this duochrome purple color. And then I took from ColourPop a pink duochrome pressed glitter and put it over it. So that's this eye. And then on this eye, on the brow bone and inner corner I used River Glacier and then I took on the inner corner a silver duochrome pressed glitter from ColourPop and then on the lower lash line I used this um bright orange color and then in the crease I first used this and then I blended it out with this shade. And on my lid, I wet my brush and put this shade all over the lid. And that is what I used to 
do the two looks on my eyes and on my cheeks i am wearing from nabla this is the skin glazing glass skin finish glow powder in lola and it is a gorgeous uh kind of like a blush highlighter so that is it right there and as my highlighter, I'm wearing from Fenty Beauty, um, the shade Chills in their Kilowatt formula. And on my lips, I just have a, um, a glitter gloss from Milani. So let's, um, swatch these Excuse me, let's swatch these shades. And I will have, like I said, I'm going to be just going to, I won't be talking, I'll be swatching and then I'll put all of the shade names and information on the side of the screen. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video um please like and subscribe and let me know what you think of the palette down below in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video um where i do two looks with the palette but stay tuned for the swatches and the cute little stories of the names will be on the side so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the swatches coming up. <laughs>
So there you guys go. There are all the swatches and names and some of the stories that I um, found for some of the colors. And it's really cool that they kind of, you know, put so much little details into the palette. That's um, one of the reasons why I love this um, brand so much. Um, and I really am trying to buy more indie brands from now on. And um, yeah, Nomad Cosmetics, I own every single eyeshadow palette from them. I'm going to be doing... Um, a ranking all of my Nomad palettes and I know in February they're coming out with something um, else so uh, you'll see something in February um, from them and I definitely will be picking it up so let me know uh, what you think of the palette what was your favorite shade and uh, Excuse me, have you heard of Nomad Cosmetics before or is this your first time and do you want to pick up this palette or do you own any of their other palettes or their highlights or any of their bronzers or any products from them? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, please subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys in the next one where we'll be doing two looks with the palette. Have a good night and see you guys in the next one. Bye.